the Benzo experience. Hello, Warriors. Some people ask me what I have been taking lately. For those who don't know, I'm recovering from a mixed episode. I'm not bipolar, not diagnosed uh, as bipolar, at least. So, um, but I still had a mixed episode where I had hypomanic um, symptoms. I was very, very, very active, but I also have had depressive symptoms where I was very depressed and this came following uh, following the withdrawal of uh, an antidepressant called Cipralexa uh, Escitalopran uh, Lexapro for, for the US uh, yeah so, so the post withdrawal effect of that medicine and also some other uh, events in my life made it that I had a mixed episode and I'm recovering from it I, I, I want to do a video about my pills because I'm taking a lot of it, unfortunately, which is very frustrating because I took escitalopran because I had a depression three years ago and even that was hard and I was feeling very mad that I was taking, uh, that I had to take a pill to feel good about myself and to feel good about my life and not want to kill myself. And now I'm taking, I don't even know how much stuff I'm taking. I will do a video about it. But I thought about it and I thought, um, actually, I'm taking a benzo now every day and I should do a video, a whole video just on the benzo because benzos are very spoken of. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of it. I see a lot of horror stories. Maybe I will have a horror story on benzos. I don't know, but... For the moment, that's not the case, so I just want to explain my experience on that. So, I take something that's called uh, Ploxazolam. It's a bit like Xanax of extended release. Xanax of immediate release uh, makes you feel calm immediately. The Xanax of extended release is a benzo that makes you feel calm throughout a period of, I don't know, 10 hours or something. So, for example, for those people who are um, having, for example, um, I don't know, a burnout and they can't stand work anymore, but they have to keep going or they just came out of work and they have to like keep going with their lives. Having a benzo of extended release makes them feel good throughout a number of hours. I first, uh, when I had my depression t three years ago uh, and I had a burnout at that time, my doctor prescribed me Xanax, Xanax of extended release and I was very apprehensive towards taking it I almost never took it I only took it really really when I thought I couldn't do it anymore I, I thought I was going crazy because that's what, what was happening at the time um, because I heard bad stories about benzos and also because my father is a pharmacist uh, and even though I'm not in contact with my family anymore, as you can see uh, in my videos about, not, about narcissistic abuse, my family is very abusive, that, that kept in my head. Uh, my parents always used to say that I shouldn't take pills. I mean, even when I had my period, I wasn't allowed to take pills for, for, for pain, which was quite cruel, actually. But, but yeah, that's, that's what happened, and um, so I was, I was a bit traumatized. I was a bit, uh, not traumatized, but I was a bit very apprehensive and very conditioned to not take the benzo. So when I was prescribed that one in particular, I only took it in those specific cases, and then I took it sometimes, and not a lot of times, for suicidal ideation. And... I think this is because when we're suicidal, we are not really that depressed. Maybe this information is a bit uh, a revolutionary, but I, I read this uh, in, in an article uh, as well, that people that are suicidal is not so much about the depression, it's more about the anxiety. So imagining what's going to happen in the future when your life is still like this, when your life is uh, still in this horrible condition. So once or twice I took the Xanax when I was feel feeling very suicidal and it worked. 
And then I didn't take it anymore, but I kept it. I, I kept it for years and then I went to another shrink just to get my, my next res um, prescription for the Ciprolexa. And he gave me, uh, he said, oh, well, don't take the Xanax. If you're feeling like that, take this. So they, this is Cloxazolan. In, in Belgium, it's called Actom. And honestly, I must have taken it two times on the course of two years. And I had it around. And then I thought that I was ready to go off my Cipra Alexa. This was three, three, year, three, year, ah, three years later after my depression uh, and my suicidal ideation. I thought I was ready to go off the Cipra Alexa, the, um, the Alexa Pro. And I came off it just fine. I have videos about it. You can also see in my process when I came off it. But finally, when I was off it, I had an episode with mixed features that was mainly caused by the withdrawal of the fucking uh, Lexapro. So, the episode with mixed features, it started to manifest with really bad insomnia. So I started taking this sometimes for insomnia and for panic. But I was still very afraid of it. I, I, I didn't take it as much. I thought it's not like I'm going to be addicted to another thing. It's only going to make it worse. And then I'm going to take, I have to take more of it. And it's going to be horrible. But the, 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 the thing is, none of the things that I took for the insomnia and for the episode with mixed features worked and I was still not sleeping and I was still agitated and I was still in a panic and again in my next video when I when I will do a, a video on everything that I take it kind of helps but in the end I still couldn't sleep and in the end my my shrink um, gave me a really strong sleeping pill and she said okay this sleeping pill this 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 thing uh, it's um, it will knock you down, definitely, because no one can resist it. <laughs> and still, I could kind of resist it. I could kind of have an agitated night with that. And I was massively suicidal. I, I really, I was, I was going to do it. I was at a point where I was going to do it. So I noticed that this really alleviated my suicidality. So I thought, fuck it, you know, if I'm going to die anyway, um, might as well get addict addicted to benzos first, because that's, uh, <laughs> I have no choice, is that that or, or killing myself? So I noticed that mixing a benzo with my sleeping pill would help me. That's what I started doing, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm still in the process of um, recovering, so I'm not completely recovered. I'm... Uh, it's, it's still hard. I have, I don't have a lot of suicidal ideation anymore, but I still have a lot of anxiety and some mild suicidal ideation. Actually, I have sometimes. So, so I still have to take it. And in the future, I know I have to come off it. I know I have to come off it very, very gently. But... I don't know. You know, my, 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 my shrink told me, what she told me was, you shouldn't be t afraid to take the benzos because benzos, um, they came off before, they came to the market before um, antidepressants. And uh, when antidepressants came, when SSRIs came, they were very well marketed by the pharmaceuticals. And all of a sudden, uh, they also, the, those pharma same pharmaceuticals also started this campaign uh, demonizing, um, demonizing this, demonizing the, the benzos. So you shouldn't treat it as if, as if it was uh, some kind of heroin or some kind of morphine or I don't know what, because it's not. If it's a pill, and if it can help you, it can help you. And that's at a, that's the point that I'm at at this time. If it can help me, it can help me. I'm not I'm not going to suffer anymore. And if after I take these pills. I go completely crazy, I have another uh, a mixed episode, or I can't sleep again. Well, that's the same that I was having before, so it, it won't make a difference for me. Uh, of course, I'm not trying to say you should take benzos, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you have no choice, don't be afraid to do it. Go to your doctor, get a shrink, don't go to your MD, get a shrink, go to a good shrink. And, and ask him, do I need to take benzos? Is this something that is going to help me? 
if it works for you, then don't be afraid to do it. And don't be afraid to annoy people. And if you have to ask them, ask them again. And if you have to add something to it, add it. And if you had to, if you have to, I don't know, if you have to call your shrink a thousand times, call him. It's your mental well-being. It's your mental health. For me, I'm really scared, of course, of what's going to happen to me. But, for example, I have another friend who had, um, he had a mental breakdown. And he took some benzos for a year. And when he, come, he came off it, it was fine. So I know that it's possible to come off your benzos and not have this dramatic reaction, which I'm hoping is what's going to happen to me. Um, what it does to me in general, it doesn't do any, any, a, lot, a lot anymore. It helps me sleep and it works against my suicidality. But at the beginning, it really uh, calmed me down when I was really, really suicidal. And... If if I am suicidal again, I will take a bigger dose again, and it will calm me down again. I hope this was clear. I don't know. It got a bit emotional towards the end. Um, but I <laughs> I hope I helped someone. If, if you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to contact me uh, on this email address here. And um, please feel free to put your questions on the comments below. Taking pills is fucked. Needing pills is fucked. Uh, another thing that I'm, I'm, I, was, uh, I was about to say is that uh, benzos can also uh, fuck with your memory, your short-term memory, because they, they make certain parts of your brain go to sleep. That's not a long-term thing. It's just while you're taking them. So don't be afraid. I, <laughs> I'm scared, but... Uh, if I could just make this thing pass, now I would do it. But I'm getting there step by step, one day at a time. Like a fucking alcoholic. <laughs> Happy healings.